Lindsey Graham uh, was a rival of Donald Trump during the uh, 2016 primaries. You might not know that because he had a miserable showing. He was obliterated by Trump, but uh, in doing so, Trump humiliated him, embarrassed him in almost every imaginable way. He even doxed him. So remember, it's Donald J. Troll, he's the king of the trolls. Not only did he troll Lindsey Graham, but he gave out his private phone number uh, while on the campaign trail. It was unbelievable. The things that he said about him were uh, horrible, horrific, etc. And remember, uh, Lindsey Graham's best friend in the Senate is John McCain. And, uh, and Trump famously said, um, I prefer uh, people who weren't captured about John McCain, which is Unreal. So later, Lindsey Graham went on to have many agreements and disagreements with Donald Trump, but apparently they were golfing just a day ago. And so Lindsey Graham sent out this tweet. Really enjoyed a round of golf with President Trump today. President Trump shot a 73 in windy and wet conditions, exclamation point. So this is deeply embarrassing. Now he's kissing his ass. There's a second tweet that's even worse, I'm gonna read it to you at the end. But let's pause here to note that it is inconceivable that Donald Trump shot a 73 in ideal conditions, let alone windy and wet and all the things that Graham said. So I thought I remembered that uh, that President Trump was a notorious liar about golf, let alone everything else in the world. So I went back and researched it. Yes, Golf Magazine has an article about um, how no one could ever verify any of his golf claims. He claimed once that he had won 18 different golf championships. When they went and looked around and asked around, not one could be verified. To which I say, of course, of course. Uh, he uh, keeps claiming that he break, broke the record on his own course several times, but there are no signed cards to indicate that. It, it, it goes on and on. But then I found a Washington Post article where they went back through time to chronicle all the different ways that Donald Trump cheats. And by the way, there's upsides to Trump on golfing. Apparently, he's a fun guy to hang out with, unless of course you're a woman. Anyway, and he tips well to the caddies, and apparently the caddies help him cheat. And that this is a well-known fact in his courses. If you get Donald Trump, make sure that you take his ball and you throw it into the middle of the fairway, and you'll get a better tip that way. Anyway, we go back to the mid-1990s, and I've got it throughout all the years for you. He was talking to Mark Mulvey, in fact, he was um, uh, golfing with him, uh, Mark Mulvoy is the managing editor of Sports Illustrated at the time. And Mulvoy says to him, wait a minute, your ball wasn't there, it wasn't even remotely there. Trump responds, ah, the guys I play with cheat all the time. I have to cheat just to keep up with them. Okay, uh, all right, then we go to 2012, Alice Cooper, when asked about other celebrities that he golfs with, said, the worst celebrity golf cheat? I wish I could tell you that, it would be a shocker. I played with Donald Trump one time, that's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> so obviously it was Donald Trump. All of this way before he ever uh, ran for president, okay? Uh, in 2004, he was talking to another sports writer, Rick Riley, who actually wound up writing a book about golf that included Donald Trump. Uh, Riley <laughs> said, when it comes to cheating, he's an 11 on a scale of one to 10. Again, none of this has any political motivations. Back in 2004, Trump has never even talked about running for president. It has nothing to do with politics. Just everyone who encounters him in golf is like, whoa, that guy's an unbelievable cheater. So there's all these stories of just throwing balls in the middle of the fairway, just making up a different score and putting it on his card than the one he shot. Uh, so being outside the green and saying, yeah, that's a gimme and just picking it up. <laughs> You're not even on the green, okay? So it goes on and on. But again, Rick Riley does say, hey, wait, wait. He says, he's exhausting, but I wanna be clear, I really liked him. It was just like being in a crazy carnival for a day, though I'm not sure it would be so much fun when it starts to count. That was 13 years ago. Boy, did he nail that. Well, it has started to count, and this carnival is not fun, and I'd like to get off this ride. But I'm not Lindsey Graham. So we finish back with the second tweet of Lindsey Graham. How bad did he beat me? I did better in presidential race than today on the golf course. Great fun, great host. Uh, look, Donald Trump is a pathetic, insecure egomaniac. The only thing worse is when he unmans you. And when you have groveling, pathetic politicians like Lindsey Graham, who after taking a beating, 
I mean, that's an open handed slap, boy, and he did it to you how many times? And then you come back and you do this, and you offer your hand to him, and you bow before him and go, oh my God, he's such a great golfer. He beat me so bad. Like when it during the race, oh my, oh God, Donnie Trump. Please give my donors tax cuts. I've been working for them for decades and they really need those tax cuts. I'll say anything, Donnie. I'll help you lie about your golf score. Please, Donnie. Lindsey Graham, you're one of the saddest, saddest people I have ever seen. You're lucky Ted Cruz is still around, so you're not at the very bottom of the batter. If you like the Young Turks, you'll love Young Turks membership, tytnetwork.com slash join.